Hey y'all, in this video we are looking at what we believe is a circa 1850s girly compass and transit. Uh, this would be a, a surveyor's instrument. Um, and we've done some research and based on the A-frame design and the uh, uh, simple design of the scope and everything, the compass face, um, and uh, all the features that are on this or not on it, um, we believe indicate that it's a really early example. So, obviously, I'm not an expert. We can't guarantee that. Um, all we can guarantee is exactly what you're going to see right here in this video and what you'll see in the pictures. So, um, we believe this is called a, a vernier style compass because of the adjustments right here. Um, it's got two uh, uh, level bubbles uh, right here and right here. Both are intact and functional. Um, the transit itself simply swivels. Uh, up and down and then of course uh, there is an eyepiece cover on the uh, the uh, user's end and you can slide that up and down um, it is visible th all the way through the scope and out um, but it's quite dirty um, there's no way for us to show you a picture um, but you can see out of it you can see out into the distance but there's dirt and there's you know uh, we don't know you know obviously over the years being stored if moisture got in there dirt you know things dried up got wet whatever the case may be um, but uh, just so you're aware um, the uh, opposite end um, this adjustment dial for the uh, the zoom does work or the focus if you will um, then there is uh, a neat feature uh, underneath there is a, uh, a tension knob to release the tension on the compass needle and as soon as we do give it a second here you'll see that that compass is going to point towards true north um, once it settles down and so really cool feature because obviously when you're shipping this thing uh, when you actually were moving it from point A to point B you wouldn't want that needle banging around so you simply tighten up that uh, tension knob and voila um, you can move this around without uh, worrying about damaging uh, the needle or uh, any part of the mechanism so um, you know based on the uh, the font the engraving um, you know, the depth of the engraving, the style of the, of the face, again, all points to an early, uh, you know, mid-1800s, uh, you know, 1850s, we believe, um, era uh, compass and transit here. So. so, obviously, she's about to settle down, so we'll just tighten it back up. And... Uh, it basically raises that uh, whole assembly and puts pressure on the needle to keep it from moving. So uh, glass is in nice shape. You know, we're going to clean that up. We're not going to try to shine anything. We're not going to try to take away any of the, uh, the patina from this. Um, you know, the bottom looks like it's intact. Looks like everything's there. Um, this piece would actually mount onto another piece a socket i believe that would be the part that mounts onto the tripod so all you're getting is what you see right here but um it really is a beautiful collector's piece a uh, wonderful display piece and uh you know we just wanted to kind of show you what uh, what you were going to be getting when you bought this so we're going to price it to sell there's some other examples out there uh, we may be one of the earliest examples that are going to be for sale, so um, just look out for it, and uh, as always, uh, thanks for looking here.